graduated from Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. In 1980. Yay! That year, Athens hosted the 11th largest film festival in the world. And it was probably because of this event that I had an opportunity at an Easter brunch to meet a graduate directing student who was visiting from China. His name was Mr. Ping, and Mr. Ping was probably, to this day, the most uncomfortable person I have ever spent any time with. He was lovely, but he was painfully shy. He, he, he spoke English, but not very much. He, he wouldn't look at you. We had a buffet that was set out. We, he wouldn't eat. He, we had to actually make him a plate and give it to him. Hell, the guy wouldn't even, he wouldn't sit down, I swear. Wouldn't sit down. So we're having a lovely brunch. He's standing in the corner. And uh, someone, there are about 10 or 12 of us, someone runs in and goes, hey, guess what? Uh, they're about ready to show The Wizard of Oz on television. And we go, oh, great. Let's watch The Wizard of Oz. And Mr. Ping, I said, Mr. Ping, would you like to watch The Wizard of Oz? And he goes, I don't know this Oz. <laughs> we go, wait, you've never seen The Wizard of Oz? He goes, I do not know this film. <gasps> this is great. Everybody got very excited. They all gathered around. We put pillows in the family room. We gathered Mr. Ping. We grabbed our Bloody Marys and our bowls of popcorn. And we sat Mr. Ping right in front of the television and everybody gathered around in chairs and so. And I walk in and there's Mr. Ping staring at me from the center of this looking like he had just been loaded onto the mothership. He was terrified. This was an absolute uh, nightmare for him. So we sit down, everybody's around, the film starts, he's watching it, and, you know, he's getting it. And then, th there's the part where the woman, that horrible woman, puts the dog in the basket on the bicycle. And he turns to me and he goes, Toto! <laughs> and I could see the veneer was beginning to crack. <gasps> he was genuinely excited when it changed colors, you know? And oh, he was completely grossed out when Dorothy got grabbed by the apple tree. Every time the lion came on, he growled. It was so cute. And then, my favorite, he got on his knees and he got this close to the television and he went, oh, monkeys, oh, monkeys, which we all know when that happened, he hated those monkeys. And I've got to tell you, it was such a joy. You know, when the, the witch died, he cheered and we all cheered. And then when they got back to Kansas, when she got back to Kansas, she, he turned to everyone and he said, there's no place like home. And I think at some point, I think he actually gave me a hug. It was so sweet. It was such a joy to watch this guy watch this film. And it was a great, great lesson in how to watch film. And a re great reminder, you know? If you're, if you're gonna watch a film, and you're gonna spend a couple of hours watching that film, go all in. Just go all in. And in a word, basically, you know, surrender. That's what I did. <laughs>